One, two, three, four. This exercise is great for fretboard freedom. You learn how to name the notes and see the shapes of the major triads and some arpeggios. And what we're actually doing here is like a perpetual motion. We're playing the same sequence through each major chord backwards through the circle of fifth. A oh, lot of information right there, but it's actually a very simple exercise, but there's a lot of good benefits out of it. So let me show how you can do this. MandolinSecrets.com My name is Magnus and I help mandolin players just like you get a richer toolbox so that you can experience more musical freedom. And if you're new at my channel, please subscribe. I have new videos like this coming out every week. And a little tip also, hit that bell notification button and then you get noticed as soon as I publish a new video. Yes, and this exercise, as I said, we're playing major triads and I call this little like pattern like one, eight, five, three. And that is actually like the, yeah, I give the numbers to all the notes in the in the arpeggio so one is the root eight is the octave fifth five is the fifth and guess what three is the third one eight five three and once playing c i go into f chord Oi. Same, same little sequence, one, eight, five, three. Then into B flat. Then into E flat. So you see, you're not, by doing this, you're not only learning what the names of the notes are right here, but also like the intervals within these triads. Very simple exercise, but so powerful and it's really things like this can really open up the fretboard for you and uh, great for when it comes to improvising, finding the scales, finding the chords and arpeggios all over the fretboard. And this is something we're working on right now in Mandolin Secrets Academy. And for all my exercises, they also get uh, like standard notation, tabs, and for repertoire, there's backing tracks and uh, play alongs and things like that. But yeah, for now, really, we can play like downstrokes for all these notes. So the first thing you want to do is find the C major triad like this. I put a little rhythm to it. One, two, three, four. Then I said, as I said, we're going backwards through the circle of fifth. And um, so this is also like helping you to memorize the circle of fifth, which is a very powerful tool when it comes to study music and understanding music. And the, why I go in that direction, it's also, it sounds very good to go in that direction. So for the next, if you're going backwards, we're coming to the the key uh, chord of F. And then B flat. Then E flat. So maybe it's enough for you right now to go for these four chords only, but once you're familiar with these four chords, you expand it to the next four, which will be A flat. G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C again. So there I already been going through the 12 major chords. 
so as I said, very simple but very efficient way to learn the fretboard. And for now, I'm just like focusing, finding all the chords down here. But it's actually the same shapes um, coming again up here if you want to play all over the fretboard. So a little perpetual motion, you can stay in the loop forever, just going around and around and around. But my advice here is try to memorize one piece at a time. And I think maybe four chords is enough for you at the moment. C, F, B flat, E flat. If you feel like going further, just go for it. So that's actually it. I don't think it needs more explanation than that. But I just want to encourage you to spend some time with this because it can really make a big change of your knowledge of the fretboard. And that's what we're going for, fretboard freedom. So let me know in the comment section if you are used to working with perpetual motions like this finding arpeggios all around the mandolin fretboard. And what is your challenge when it comes to this? Please let me know and hopefully that also helped me to realize what kind of material you want. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and I hope to see you in a new video soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.